Hey folks, Timmy Toons here again, and welcome back to my workshop. In the last video, we learned how to properly assemble the bassoon and hold it while sitting. Today, we're going to learn about how to make this instrument work, which starts by getting a crow on the reed. The reed is made up of two pieces of wood or cane that sit next to each other. When we blow air into the reed, those pieces of cane vibrate and it creates a sound. That sound is what's going to get the instrument to actually work. Now in order to get the reed to work for us, first off we have to make sure we have a good reed. I recommend that you consult your local band director or if you have a bassoon teacher that you talk to them about the best kind of reed to get. There's many out there. The best ones though are handmade reeds or are ones that a bassoon instructor can recommend for you. Once you get your good reed, what you need to do is soak that reed. Fastest way to do it is to take a cup of water, put it in for a couple seconds, take it out, and then set it on a napkin or a tablecloth. Just want to let it air dry a little bit, but we want to make sure that the cane has maintained and brought in some of that water. That's going to be really important for the responsiveness of that reed. Once we have our reed good and soaked and set to play, what you're going to do is form what's called a double lip amateur. What that looks like is you can practice by taking your finger, putting it on your bottom lip, rolling it into your mouth, and then taking your top lip and just gently pressing down. It should feel like your top lip is over your bottom teeth, kind of like an overbite. Remember, you're not actually biting down on this amateur on the reed. All of the pressure is going to be coming from the sides, the corners of your lips. So let's do it with the actual reed now. Set it down, roll it in, and then gently form the amateur. It should be in your mouth pretty far up, almost to that first wire that's on your reed. Once you have it there, you're going to take a big breath and start blowing air. And we should get a crow. It is a beautiful sound. The crow consists of three pitches. A high pitch, a middle pitch, and a low pitch. Let's try that again. The more sounds you get, the better. Now, if you do that and you just get this sound, that's too high. You're probably too firm with your amateur, your jaw. You could be biting down on the, on the reed. So relax the amateur and make sure that you're maintaining a steady airstream. Now, if it comes out and sounds like this, that's a little bit too low. Your amateur is not tight enough. I need to firm it up a little bit more and make sure that you're blowing fast air from the diaphragm or from down here to kind of dampen up the reed a little bit. Once you get that crow working for you, you'll be able to move on to actually playing notes on the instrument. Since the reed is one of the most important parts of your instrument, you want to make sure that you care for it. When you are done using the reed, store it in a nice dry area that can get air to it. I like to take a metal tin container, poke holes in the top of it, place the reed in there with a paper towel or a thin cloth. That way the reed can properly dry out and still be usable later on. Keep practicing and working on getting that nice full-bodied crow. 
And when you have that, you'll be ready to move on to playing on the actual instrument, which is what we're going to do in the next video. Thanks for joining us, and I look forward to seeing you next time here in Timmy Tunes Workshop.